Hey guys, how are you? I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Tommy here. Um, so, as you can see by the title, today's topic is a bit of a different one. Um, it was just basically something that um, that God just kind of placed on my heart at the same time he showed me as well. He just taught me something and I just wanted to encourage someone today who is probably going through what I was going through at that point in time. So I'm just going to say like a quick story time. Rewind, I almost said fast forward. Rewind a couple of weeks back, I was in a bit of a spiritual funk. I was going through the motions, guys. I was I was praying and reading my Bible, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't I wasn't there. Like my reading my Bible was me reading verse of the day on the Bible app. My praying was me in the morning, I just lay on my bed I'd be like, God, um I commit this into your hands and I'll just get out of bed and that's it that was literally it for the day and um i knew it like i could feel it i felt like i was drained literally and um so i just it was like it okay it was something that okay started let's say it started on monday but wednesday i was thinking you know what i was just carrying uh, at some point yeah and you know someone was like pray like pray about it like that's what you meant to do in it but i was just there like uh i will get we'll get over it like so, somehow somehow i'll come out of this funk so um fast forward a couple of days later and stuff i had to travel and i needed my lens cap for my camera and somehow i couldn't find it so i was just like i was just so upset like i don't want my lens to scratch all of that so the next morning like i went to bed so come morning time i was saying my usual one line prayer and stuff and this time I added extra, I was like, God, please, like, you know, if just please help me find my lens cap before I travel. I had, like, three hours before I had to leave. And instantly, something just came in my head, like, oh, what makes you think God is going to, you know, answer your prayer? You haven't spoken to him properly, like, this whole week. You haven't read your Bible or anything. And now you just have the audacity to come in and just be asking for stuff. And I was like, ah, oh, bruv, you're so right, yeah? So I got my phone, I read my daily one first, and I was about to get out of bed. I was even already like on Amazon and eBay, like looking for new lens caps. And then instantly something just like said to me, like, do you really think so low of God? Like, do you really think because of that, you can't come into his presence and ask him for something? Like, do you think God is human? And instantly this I don't know if you guys know it, I don't I actually don't know where exactly it is, but it's in numbers where it says his ways are not like ours. Like he he doesn't work like man. God isn't petty. He isn't he basically he's not human. He's perfect. So he doesn't do the things that we would take pee and take personal, he doesn't. And I was just like, oh my gosh, yeah, like this is just completely ridiculous. Like I like I was just torn. Like, how can I come and be asking God for something when I haven't like been faithful to him? And I just remembered, like, someone told me one time, like, God is always faithful even when we aren't. And I was remembering all these Bible verses about, you know, in Jeremiah where he says, I know the, the thoughts that I have for you, thoughts of good and not of evil. And um, where he also says um, in Romans about us being coheres with Christ, like, we are his children. We, like, we are not his servants. We are not the cleaners. We're not drivers or anything. We are children equal with his perfect son and like oh gosh i don't even know how to put this but anyways long story short i found my lens cap in the weirdest of places in the weirdest of ways i was literally about to leave the house i was like let me go get a glass of water went into the kitchen and something just said like lift the microwave up i don't know what my lens cap was finding was it was doing in the kitchen but it was under the microwave so i got it and i was just there like when i was walking to the bus station i was just smiling like wow god like you really like just taught me and like the holy spirit was just telling me like it's in the times when you feel so down when you feel like i can't come to him that's when you should that's when you need to and i really just like i don't know if this video actually made sense kind of thing but i really just want to encourage anybody if you feel like you're going for a spiritual funk or you're going through the motions or you're just stuck like you're just stagnant you don't know where you are you don't know what you're doing or anything and you feel like because you haven't been faithful to god that you know you, you don't have the right to go talk to him or anything like think of your earthly parents even times when like you vex them and stuff like 
You can still call them and be like, mom, can I have this? And they will give it to you because of the love they have for you. And now think of your ultimate, ultimate father who's perfect. Like, he doesn't hold grudges. He lets things go. So if you're feeling like you're in a spiritual funk or some something, whatever you're feeling, and you feel like you can't seek God or you can't pray or that he's not going to answer you, I promise you, that's a lie of the devil. He will answer you. He wants you to call him. In your weaknesses, his strength is magnified. Press into him. I really, really do hope this video made sense. And I really do hope I've managed to encourage someone out there today. Like, guys, God is not petty. Literally, God is not petty. God is not a petty wap. But yeah, guys. <laughs> um, I really hope this video made sense. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, drop comments down. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Have a lovely day.